Rosa Parks. Muhammad Ali. Martin Luther King. Frederick Douglass. Obama. CJ Walker. Oh, look at you. Yes, yes, yes. We, oh, wow. Oh, I didn't see the camera there. <laughs> Did you see that? No! What's poppin'? What's going? What is? What's up? What's poppin'? What's going? What is? What's up? Yes, Litty Committee! We are back, we are back, we are back, yeah! We are back, we are back, we are back, yeah! Oh! <laughs> Alright, I just want to say before this video starts, Happy Black History Month, everybody! Happy Black mm. History Month! Yes! Woo! All right, I know you saw that title, yeah, down below, and the thumbnail. That's why you clicked on this video, right? Right? Right, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, in today's video is a bit different. I'm bringing education to you. I'm going to educate you. Me and Mummy Shay is about to educate you on some serious knowledge, which not many people is aware of. Because yeah, before I get into this video, I want everyone to like, share, comment, subscribe, share again, turn on your post, post notification, notification bell. bell. Yes, so whenever I upload a video, you get that notification. Ping! Pong! Sweet Sensations World has uploaded a new video. Please go and watch right now. Leave a comment down below and tell a friend to tell a friend. All right. All right now, so... In this part of the video, Mummy Shay will be talking about... I'll be talking about inventors, sorry. Inventors, black inventors. Did you know that a black inventor was Philip B. Downing, who invented the letterbox, which they call the mailbox? Because otherwise, we wouldn't have no postbox to post our letters in. Yes, guys. Like, black history is not promoted enough in, in education sectors... It's just not promoted so black children will never understand their roots because some black parents don't even talk to their child about black history and how their grandparents came to this country and all of that. But anyways, I will get into that in more details. But before I do, I want everyone to smash the like button, comment down below, Right. Did you know who made the um the mailboxes? No. Who did? Philip B. Downing. Oh, really? Yes, he did. Okay. He created mailboxes so that all our parcels and letters could be secured. And then he decided was to put them all over the country. Oh, wow. I, I never knew that. Comment down below in the comment section if you knew that because I didn't know that at all. Do you think that's a good idea for what he done? It is. It is because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have no post boxes or any mailboxes. So, where do you think our post will be going then? Only Paddington knows that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And also, did you know who made the first gas mask? No. Garrett Morgan. Oh wow! Really? Yes. I never knew that. Okay. He made them for the firefighters to protect them from the gas inhale from the gas. Mm, that was very smart. I never knew this, and I'm black, so can you imagine? Like children don't even know like the simple things about themselves, apart from they're black. That's all they know. Wow. Because if they didn't um, invent them, a lot of the firefighters wouldn't have lived today. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of old people like who was working in the fire industry back in the days who are still alive today to tell the story. So if it wasn't for this man here... Well, there'd be a lot of dead firefighters. And that wouldn't be nice now. No. Because we need firefighters to out our fires mm -hmm. and to help us. There's a, there's a lot of things which we need to know, which we don't know. That's why we're here to educate you today. Yes, we are. Yes, hmm. we are. And on the other one, do you know who built the traffic lights? 
the three colours out on the road. Purple, green and yellow. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop right there. Red, yellow and green. No, who invented that? It was Garrett Morgan. Mm. He was the very he was the first black person to invent them lights. Do you think if we didn't have the lights um, today, what would happen? Only God knows that there will be so much car accidents, car crashes, just, oh, everybody's car getting mashed up. Like, wow. Then he, ex then he expanded them to all over the world. That, do you think that's a good idea? That is a good idea. I wonder how he got funded to do all of that. Who funded him? I really wondered. Mm. It makes me wonder. A black inventor. Who would believe that? Mm. We have black inventors. That's why we are promoting Black History Month today. To educate people, children and so forth. Because we have to know our history. Mm -hmm. And where things... We're looking at things every day on the road. But we don't know where they come from. Mm -hmm. And it's good to know. So, because if we don't know, we're going to be thinking, oh, we were born with traffic lights. Mm -hmm. Oh, we were born with mailboxes. Yeah. Oh, we were born with iron boards. Not realising that black people invented those things for us to use. Mm -hmm. It's just really weird because the only people who would actually know that these things were invented by these people is the older generation. Like, the older people, like... Our parents, 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 our, you know, our granddads, dads, dads, dads would know all of that. But we're the new generation and we don't know half the things which should, uh, that we should know. Because everything is just closed in, put to one side. But when it's any other culture or religion or whatever, it's out there. Like, it's crazy. But if you want to see a part two to that, then make sure you're liking this video press that button subscribe like and share if you like this or if you want more put it down below in the comments mm -hmm. please and also this is the main one which i like so much is the cleaning strategy who do you think invented dustpan and brush the indian man <laughs> hey, <Papa. laughs> stop it now <laughs> it was the black man oh and his name was lloyd p ray Who's that? Lloyd P. Ray. He dis he must um he must probably just woke up in the morning and said we have to get resources to clean the house to clean to clean our houses or their house mm. or the shops or whatever. Then he came up with this idea. We have to use resources, dustpan and brush, because without the dustpan, we can't. What are we going to use to sweep up the rubbish with? Our hands. <laughs> then he must have said, we need a brush to sweep it up. Mm. And that's how he invented it. Isn't that wonderful? That's how it comes. I've got a dustpan and brush in my house. Mm. I'm sure you have too. Have you got a dustpan and brush in your house? Yes, I do. And do you use it? Yes, I do. I All believe you do. <laughs> <laughs> and also, there's a, on the last note, I don't want to elaborate too much because... um. History is history, and it's only a little pinch of it which we're going to absorb into your little heads today. So, did you know who invented the clothes dryer? No. Do you want to know? Yes. George T. Sampson. Oh. And that was in 1892. Would you believe it? Hmm. Like, there is so much interesting facts to know about black history like black history is so wide you would never believe it it is so so wide it's because it's not being spoken about at all and if you do go to i mean in education like, like in this month here black history month should have been started from the 1st of october down to the 31st of october but hence we don't hear all the in-depth things about black history month the only it's, thing we hear is the basic 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 things and and they don't explain to the children about this and that and this and that they're just talking about basicness and it's like 
oh, black history doesn't matter. But let me tell you something, it does matter. And for you out there, start educating your children so your children's children can come and educate them also because it's very important. Don't you think so? Yes. Because my daughter here, right, she is well educated upon black history because I follow black history. You know, they've got museums out there. They've got cultured things out there which people can go to. But do people bring their children to it? No. And I don't understand. We are in a society which black people should educate their children. I'm not saying people shouldn't educate their children of other cultures. But we are focusing on Black History Month. Oh, also, did you know that if it wasn't for black people to come to this country back in the days that there will be no NHS. I know that, very much so. Can you can you brief on that, please? Yes, so <laughs> now I'm going to go into a whole different trimester. I only want a little bit, please. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, if you know me, I love chatting. And I, I, I can chat from 1997 all the way down to 2000. Well, just get on with it, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. But yes, if it wasn't for the black people to come over from the Windrush in 19... Yes, I think it was 1947, 1948. Yes. Yes. If it wasn't for the black people from the Caribbeans and from Africa to come over to this country in 1948, how would some of you get your treatment? How would NHS be running? It would not work because it was the black people who come to this country to work their asses so hard and now if a black person goes to the nhs who's elderly and wants to get help or um free medical help whatever it is or treatment they cannot get it and i don't understand that so if you understand that please let me know down below because it was black people who built up this country from nothing to something what it is today definitely and if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have no free NHS. Our country, this country here, will be like any other country out there. We're not getting the credit which we deserve. That's what Shay, that's what Shay is trying to say. We are not getting the credit as black people and the people before us and so on and so on. They're not getting, they are not getting recognised. So we're out there to tell you to get yourself recognised. You see, with these black businesses, they're not getting recognised because... Other black people ain't helping their own black people because they don't know what way to go. And we have to just um, congregate ourselves. We just have to join as one and build but up. it's very hard for black people to have a business for themselves because as soon as they see a little piece of money in their bank account, they get excited. It could be like £200. They will get excited. But if you look on the other side of things, if it's a white man's business and a white family is running the business, that business will go so smoothly. And also, the Indian community, they all stick together. Jewish people all stick together. Every single culture sticks together but black people. We and have to learn to unite. We have to learn to unite. And that's what Black History Month is all about. Uniting, Power. coming together, empowerment, mm -hmm. you know, facing struggles together. Don't think that, that because you start a business and it's not striving within one or two months, that's how it goes. It does not go that way. It takes years. It I takes take, dedication. Yes, but can I also say something? Yes. Because black people don't know how to put their prices down at a reasonable price. As soon as a shop opens, bang, big money. I'm thinking, hold on. If you don't start off small and work your way up with the prices, how do you expect to get customers in the beginning? Because if, if I was to open up a shop and I'm selling food, I'm not going to go and say, oh, for one portion of food is um, it's £15 or £10. I'm making sure there's some type of special deals going so people can afford it and taste my food. And then they will say, okay, next time I want this, I can go back to him. And when he does eventually put up his prices, then... You know, they will, and then they can say, oh, okay, it's, it tastes nice, it's worth the money, so let's go and, okay. and purchase. Okay, part on, you can continue afterwards. Black people as a whole, we have to learn to speculate, to accumulate. We've got to start off small before we build up, our, before we build a foundation. We tend to, well, 
black people tend to yes, start we, as a whole. We, yes, we, we, yes, we, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm not, not men. This is Shayna's, this is Shay's channel at the end of the day. And I'm her mum, and I'm trying to help her promote her channel as much as possible. Do you think other black parents will help their um, children promote their channel? It is very hard for a black person to sit down with their child and say, yes, let's do something um, positive. I know that I'm not really a YouTuber, you know, um, a person. But since I've been coming on here, I've been saying what I think at the end of the day. And this YouTube thing... It's a good thing because if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't be here talking to you guys now. Yes, you out there, you, you, and you out there. So you just have to just get with it, get with the program, you know. Because you see us together now. Who knows in years to come, we might be entrepreneurs. Or who we knows don't know. in the future, Mummy Shane might have her own channel doing something which she likes doing. Because you know, my channel is all about prank challenges and. Um, story times q and a's and all that good stuff i don't know why you're laughing for <laughs> but yes guys that video there will be out soon <laughs> that's hilarious you wait until i can start using that camera asap mm -hmm. but going to anyways back to the main reason of this video it's just black history as you can see here i'm wearing a black t-shirt it's got some words on it it says i am strong i am strong melon queen who loves my brown skin black beauty comes in all shades i read it to you properly okay okay i am a strong melanin queen queen who loves my brown skin <sighs> black beauty of course black is beautiful yes black also, is beautiful i haven't finished comes black beauty comes in all shades continue Yes, and I just want to also um, make you sort of aware that there are also black books on the book market. I've got one here, it's called Gregory Cool. So make sure you go and check out these books. Um, I believe they're online to read online, or if you've got a bookshop close to you, just pop in there and see if they've got any Black History Month books. Always educate yourself because, boy, how do you think Obama got into power in America? <sighs> he must have done some studying for years and years and years and years and years and years and years because black people don't get things easy. Let me tell you that. Black people do not get things easy. Like, what Indian people can get easy, white people can get easy. Black people don't get easy because we have to work twice as hard. We have to rock up our neck to get to a place in life and then say yes i'm comfortable also there's more books on the market jamaica and brianna it's online or or maybe you can find it in bookshops it's a really good educational book for yourself as well as your child or children's also yes and then we have celebrating black history mm-hmm I love these books, you know, because they give so much great information, great, great information, and they've got nice pictures. So if you're not um, if you're not a, um, if you're not a reader like that, they have pictures, and it also shows important black people in there. Also, there's another book which you all should know. It's based on Rosa Parks. Mm -hmm. Those who know Rosa Parks know that she had a hard life, and and um, you can also get this book online. And in bookshops, you know, or you can order it online. It's got some really um, good words in here. You know, it's got black people, of course, because it's Black History Month. And, um, and also, it's got her journey when she got on the bus. You must know, you must all know the story by now. But, hold but, on, I don't know the story, so educate me, because I'm pretty sure some of my little committee family and crew and gang don't know that story. Because, you know, it's not spoken enough. So what's the story? The story is that she got on a bus one day going to Alabama. Mm. And then the bus was packed, of course. And then this white man, mm -hmm. was it a woman, got on the bus? You need to look in the book because I'm not going to tell you everything about the story. He told her to get up because he wants to sit down. She said, no, she's not getting up. So then what do you think happened after that? Hmm. Mm. It wasn't a pretty sight at all. No, it wasn't. But I won't go into depth of that because 
you need to get the book or look online to see for yourself like rosa parks spoke what she had to spoke like speak what she had to speak she spoke her mind at the end yeah. of the day and it didn't get her too far but today in this society we know our rights basically mm -hmm. and for those who and for those people who don't know their rights go and know your rights like knowledge is power even if you don't know something you go and look it up because if you don't know something in this day and age research is there the google search bar is there go and educate yourself because boy if you don't know something today people will take the mick out of you definitely mm -hmm. we have to be one step ahead all the time because if you don't know something, people are going to say, oh, look at her. She's silly. You know, she should know these things by now, you know. Yeah. But um, we just have to educate ourselves. Also, I just want to ask you and my family members, are you proud to be black? Yes, I'm most definitely proud to be black. Well, you know what? I'm not really proud. Because there's so much bad energy in the black community. So it just makes me think I should have shifted to the other side. Well, basically, black don't crack. Well, basically, black people don't know how to behave themselves. Well, I know that side of things, but I'm proud to be black. You're proud to be I'm black. I'm not proud to yeah. be black. Well, you know, <laughs> everybody like, to their Every time I, I, I try to like rub off the blackness, I try to rub off the blackness, it's horrible black people are one of the hardest people to get talking to i'm and i mean i'm a social person so is my daughter shay i just here. don't like being black i just hate it you know um i'm not I going just, to say that i just don't I, like it i, I, I don't let you commit if you know me you know for a long time now i don't like this blackness i'm too black well everyone to their own i'm just too black i know i like being black and you don't like being black so no, so it's your preference I and just, it's my preference I just, it's something about it, it i just look so um, dirty all the time you know what go wash your skin <laughs> i just look so dirty all the time i hate it like, oh. <laughs> rub, it, rub it onto you then oh, no please no please but <laughs> yes guys i don't <laughs> like being black like look at my hair look at it people always say they like it but look at it it is horrible well, my one is just on my head. You know, what I have is what I have. I like, oh, my God, your hair feels so nice. Oh, oh, I just don't like it. Why do people feel the need to touch a black person's hair? Because they're jealous. Because they exactly. don't have that volume, which you have. Volume. But, but I just don't like it. Like, literally, I hate it. You know, it's just what it is. It's just too ghetto. Like, if I was a white girl, you are right, Sarah? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just, I just actually don't like it. Well, disgraceful. Well, disgraceful. Well, you're to your own and I'm to my own. I just don't like You've stated your point. Even this top, I'm wearing the wrong top today. I was going to say the same thing. I am wearing the wrong top. Like, ugh. Comment down below, what colour top do you think Shay should have worn today? I like my top. Even I, that is ugly. I like my top. But again, do you see where we're going with this? It is so ugly. I just hate it. All of it. It's disgusting. Ugh, disgrace. Anyway. It is horrible. Like, being black in this in this society is horrible. Like, ugh. Disgraceful. Ugh. Ashamed. It's a lot of black and black hate in this ugh. world today. We I don't in. hate it. I literally, literally hate it. Don't know about you, but you seem to be proud. And I'm just not proud. Well, I'm ashamed. Can, you can stay being ashamed because it's your preference. I don't hate it. In this world, we have preferences. You either want to be white or you want to be black. I want to be black. Uh, Even though it's hate on hate, it's black on black. So it makes you feel that way. That's why Shay's feeling that way. But I said, two people cannot be the same because um, each person is to their own. So if we were both the same now, It'd be like, can't you think for yourself? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like, I just think because my it's... name is just too ghetto. Like, I should have had the name like Rosa or Rosie or Charlotte or Chloe or oh something. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't name me this name, Stacy. Yeah, Stacy or Lauren or Laura. You know what I mean? Or Teresa or Hannah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just come with this um or Chardonnay. Little ghetto name. Mm. Like, 
I don't know what she wanted me to name her, you know, but again, she Penelope. Better, she better go with the other side for her English name. I will. You know? I will go and find Goodbye, goodbye. Uh, Jolly good bye. show. Bye. <laughs> but literally, <laughs> that was just a prank. <laughs> funny wasn't it <laughs> you all fell for it didn't you i know you did. i was watching you closely you know very close indeed you fell for it admit it mm -hmm. but yes <laughs> was that gonna work yeah but, um, <laughs> <Mad too. laughs> but yes i am proud to be black you know all i'm the proud time, to be black every time every like, day every day every night every week Whoa. every month you know what i mean like <laughs> you lot fell for that and i'm so, oh, i'm just like yeah i'm just let me love just, it let me just prank them i'm just what well, if we just whipping it up for them yeah but uh, <laughs> yes guys if you want a part two on this type of topic or a different culture culture religion culture let me know down below hit that like button share comment subscribe turn on the post notification bell and tell a friend and tell a friend <laughs> hey. yes guys Woo! that was good i believe if you if you watched this whole video and you didn't take something away from black history month education wise then you need to go and play this video again and again and again and again and again and again Whee! and again and again and again because this video is very 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 informative like as you can see on the wall behind us we have martin luther king Frederick Douglass and we've got Rosa Parks Muhammad Ali then we've got <coughs> Madame C.J. Walker mm -hmm. Woo! if you don't know what C.J. Walker done for this world <coughs> she created her she produced hair products <laughs> for black people basically mm -hmm. but if you want to know more about it you can just Type in her name and see what comes up. That's what education is all about. And that's why myself and Shay put it up, put up some um, flyers on the and wall. And I can see, see today. my Jamaican flag on the wall. I have to represent all the time. When I do something regarding culture, I like to put up my flag. Because I'm proud of where I'm from. Hey, I'm proud of where I'm from. Hey, I'm proud to be from where I'm from. Hey. <laughs> yes, but you know, there's other countries also, like Barbados. St. Lucia. Grenada. St. Vincent. Um. <laughs> there's, more, there's more countries for you to um, Guyana, get yourself familiar with. Antigua. Yes. Bermuda. There is a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of countries out there. For, like Caribbean countries, even African countries like Ghana, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Uganda, South Africa. It goes on forever. There is a lot of countries out there which have their own history. If you don't want a history, um, if you don't want a video on Jamaica history, on the first prime minister and the second prime minister, what and what each prime minister has done for Jamaica. Just let me know. And Whatever you want. Done. It's a wide it's a wide spectrum. So you take your pick and we'll do it for you. Yes. Woo! And if you want more pranks, comment down below Definitely. in the comment section. Or you can hit me up on Instagram at the real Shay B X. Mummy Shay doesn't have no social media, but she's always the first ones to read my comments down below. So yeah. I don't know, maybe one day she will jump on Instagram and be like, yo guys, this is my Instagram name, go follow me, go and drop me some prank ideas, go and drop me some prank ideas. Maybe one day, one day, who knows? One who day, because you know, like, Mummy Shay is from the older generation, so she don't really like 
social media as such. No, not at all. The only thing she uses is like Facebook, and she's not really active on there. She just goes on there to be nosy, you know what I mean? (laughs) Why not? Why not? (laughs) Yes, guys. But I hope you enjoyed this video. How many of you should we ask for? We should ask for 250 likes. 250 likes. Yes, and guys. run up the views. And you run it up because it's Black it History up, Month. Run it up, run it up, roll it up, roll it up. Yeah. <laughs> also, just to touch on it lightly, you know, Carnival is also a part of Black History. But like I said, if you want a part two, two this video we will give you that and more information just comment down below what you think and what you want and and how you want us to do it and we just do the rest do the rest hey do the rest do the rest do the rest (laughs) (laughs) but yes guys i hope you did enjoy this video and tell a friend tell a friend again tell a friend tell a friend tell a family member tell anybody tell everyone Yes. Because the whole of October is Black History Month. Yes. Black History Month. Yes. Black History Month. Black History Month officially started on the 1st of October. But people just celebrate on the 16th of October, which I think is very cheeky because when it's any other religion... It goes on for months and months and months. It even starts before the time. Yes. It's just our Black History Month. I think nowadays it should be... I mean, it should be promoted in school long time ago, especially now. It should be one of the main topics which comes up in school because they're acting as if it was only for the British people. We as black people, we are also involved in history. So we should be also in the curriculum mm-hmm. at the end of the day. You see where I'm going? Okay. Yeah. It's just that like, it's really weird because when it's any other culture... They just prolong it, they prolong it, they make sure that they speak about everything in that culture. But when it's Black History Month, the only song we hear is One Love, One Heart. Stop it, right there, song. <laughs> there is other songs like, to be singing. That is the only song I hear them play when it's Black History Month. Like, what about all the other songs? What about all the other a great artist in the world what about dance what about soca what about you know it's just not being calypso like, let me tell you black children don't know nothing about their music about the heritage about their culture about food, food exactly about their outfits what they should wear you know exactly. they don't know the time of year like i know that jamaican people don't really have a a cultured clothing but africans do and africans wear like their um attire attire and yeah. their head wrap it's just all nice but caribbean people do have carnival which involves in feathers costumes music like that is what um bigs up black history month yeah you know and it should be recognized more yeah. you know the only so, time um, it's recognized is when it's carnival and it's not, it's and it's not, good, not enough. good because it's like okay, it's promoting our music and uh, what we represent, but people don't actually know. People don't really know what the feathers symbolize. People just think, oh yes, feathers. Let me tell you, it's not just feathers. Like it symbolizes something deeper than just feathers. So when I hear people say, oh, oh yeah, it's just feathers, you know, it's like no, it actually means something to us. Which I will get into more in the other part video. two, if you want a part two, because there's so much to talk about, so much, and so little time. I don't want to make this video too long-winded, because I want you not to actually get the drift of the video. And also, no people out there don't know when Carnival started, so if you want a next video on that one, please let us know. Please, because a lot of people just say, oh, it's Carnival, we're going to go and jump up and say, what? It's not all about that know where carnival began Mm -hmm. that's the next one for you to do yeah but we're gonna to conclude this video i just want to say i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was very uh, educational i hope um you got something out of it and i hope you're able to educate your child or children just make them aware that they are black because you know what happened to me a couple of days ago (sighs) two weeks ago I went to work and a child said to another, no, a child said to me, you're the same colour as my friend over there. 
you know i felt so embarrassed because a white lady was standing right there and i said hold on you're black just like me your friend is black just like me there's no different color if you're black you're black that is it if you're black you are black i don't i felt so embarrassed because i was like when Shay came home and told me that, I said to her, I, that I experienced something like that in school, like about a few years ago. We're sitting in the circle, like for circle time, and we're playing this sort of game. This child said to the other child, um, you're brown, you know, and you're not black, you know. Even some teachers do not, um, they're not saying black, they are saying brown. We are black people, black people. I had to say to the child that myself is black and you're black. You're black. You're not um, white. You are black. You're not fair skin. You are black. We are of the same complexion. And no matter how Shay said, we are black. Hmm. We can dress it up anyhow we want to or the kids can dress it up. But if I'm in that situation, you're black and I'm black. Parents, wake up. Wake up and educate your children. Stop telling them otherwise. Because when they grow up, they're going to have that mentality that they're not black. And it's just so silly. Like, you're black. You are black. Both of your parents are black. If one of your parents are from a different race, I would understand. But you're black. You are black. Like, some people, even, even old people think, oh, yeah, that's it, I'm brown. And I'm thinking, you're black. You're black. You're black. You're black. Teddy Tango and You're with black it. to your blue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, black tango blue. I know, I know. <laughs> but yes, guys, that was it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell, and tell a friend to tell a friend. To tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a black 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 friend to tell a blue friend. Yes, we will see you in the next video. Next video. Next video. Next video.